So negotiators from Iran and the six big world powers have just emerged from months of negotiations in Austria and Switzerland to announce that, believe it or not, they have an Iran nuclear deal. Every pathway to a nuclear weapon is cut off. But what does that actually mean? How does all that actually work? Well, this gets technical really fast, but it helps if you go through and look at some of the most important issues. One of the big ones is uranium. That's the stuff. You dig it out of the ground, you use it for nuclear fuel, for a power plant, or even for a bomb. The deal requires Iran to give up 97% of its enriched uranium, almost all of it, down to just a 300 kilogram stockpile, not very much. Uranium comes in different levels of enrichment. Now, this restriction is really severe. Iran is only allowed to have its uranium up to 3.67% enrichment. And to give you a sense of what that means, medical research grade uranium is enriched to 20%, and weapons grade uranium is enriched to 90%. So Iran's uranium is gonna be way down at 3.67%, very safe in energy grade, and not something that is anywhere near what can be used for a nuclear weapon. Iran is going to give up most of its centrifuges. It's going to go from 20,000 centrifuges to just 5,000 that are spinning fissile material, plus another 1,000 that it can use for uh, research and development but can't use fissile material. And if Iran decided one day, you know what, we don't like this deal anymore, we're going to build a bomb, it would take it a really long time to do it. And that gets to another really important issue, and that's inspections. Inspections and monitoring are how we make sure that Iran is sticking to their end of the deal and that they're not cheating. The inspections that the U.S. got out of this deal are frankly just astonishing. A one arms control analyst said he thought there was, quote, almost a 100% chance that if Iran cheated, it would be caught by these inspections. That's how good they are. So what does Iran get for accepting all of this? What Iran gets is relief from the economic sanctions that have been just crippling its economy. And what these sanctions do is they cut off Iran's economy from the outside world. They cut it off from international banking, international finance. These have been just devastating Iran's economy. They are really desperate to get out from under these. And this is a big deal, not just for Iran the state, but for the 77 million people of Iran who to big middle class and they've been suffering under economic sanctions for too long and they will finally get to have a chance at having a real economy hopefully very soon after this.